So let's just go right into trying out some of these products. Okay, so my face is already moisturized. We're gonna go in with the Refi Primer first, just to see what it's given. I definitely wanna use a foundation that I'm familiar with so I can see if it makes a difference or not. So it says you squeeze a little bit to the top. So I see a tiny bit oozing out. And we're just gonna roll this on here. So we're gonna let this dry for about a minute or two. Okay, so reading a little bit about the primer, it's supposed to be the skin beneficial formula. It has glycerin to help moisturize the skin with niacinamide. It helps to reduce the appearance of redness and blemishes. Uh, it's supposed to be a skincare makeup prep hybrid product that instantly sculpts your face to give it definition. So I guess that's why it has that roller to give the face definition. Interesting. Okay, and it's supposed to leave you with the healthy glow. So we might be using the Too Faced Healthy Glow uh, foundation today. So yeah, let's go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow foundation. I do wear the color Maple. You only need a little bit of this stuff, y'all. This is pigmented. So I'm gonna take this much. Cover those areas that we need the most coverage first because you really get a good amount of coverage with this skin. It's actually a skin tint, but it has a really good amount of coverage. The skin tints that they've been coming out with the past couple years are not like the typical skin tints that we're used to. They're so much more pigmented than the skin tints from back in the day, y'all. So the Sephora number 88 brush. Did you guys see that Natasha Denona has launched a new, almost like a serum concealer? And it has so many colors. It has a very extensive shade range. <laughs> so we might be trying that out. I don't think it's in stores yet, at least not in Sephora, but it's available to order online. So let's go in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This one is in the color 6.5 G Brittle. Very creamy, easy to blend out. You don't have to let it sit on your face before you blend it. Uh, you won't lose the pigmentation. It's really good and I love this color. This is something that I'm nearly almost out of, but I didn't want to repurchase it during the Sephora sale. Uh, because I want to give myself a chance to use some of the many other concealers that I have. So this will definitely be a repurchase for the winter sale. Going to blend this out starting from the outer edge working my way up. That way I get minimal product in the creases. <laughs> Going in with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. This is Intensity 2. I'm gonna use the cream bronzer out of here. I'm still trying to determine how I feel about this cream bronzer. So far, my thoughts are it's okay. You know what I mean? I do like the color of it. This is probably about my third or fourth time using it, and I'm still trying to see like what is the benefit of this $90 product, you know what I mean? We're gonna brighten up a little bit further under the eye with the Rare Beauty Brightener. This one's in the color Medium Tan. Taking the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, this one's in the color Love. It's a beautiful terracotta color. Taking my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. This one's the Ultra Blur Formula. And my Beauty Blender Pocket Puff. So this is the NYX Brow Glue. I really like this stuff, you guys. I've been talking about this since I got it. Maybe like two or three months ago. 
and it really gives me that sort of laminated brow look that I'm looking for and I actually did laminate my brows you guys that's <laughs> that's coming up in one of the next vlogs that's going to be coming out I did laminate my brows so it does help it uh help them to stand up like this but our good socialite more melanin did tell me to try the refi the brow gel like this the refi refi one so that's probably going to be the next refi product that i'm going to try but i'm not going to buy it until i finish this one out i'm going to set the rest of my face with the laura mercier translucent powder this one is the regular version not the ultra blur <laughs> So into the Juvia's Place coffee shop palette, I'm going to take this brown here and I think I want to put either this shimmery shade or this shimmery shade on the lid. I'm going to use the Sephora Collection Pro Crease 27 brush. Definitely loving how rich these browns are. Incredibly rich. Why hadn't I been buying Juvia's Place palettes? <laughs> Y'all, these colors are so beautiful. Why didn't y'all tell me to get Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes before now? OMG. Can y'all see that? Wow. Wow. So let's use the NYX Vivid Matte Liner and do a black liner on top. <laughs> So I'm going to take the deep, dark, chocolatey brown and smudge on top of the black liner. Y'all look, I'm getting fancy. <laughs> Y'all know I don't do all this with eyeshadow, but this eyeshadow palette makes you want to play in makeup. Like, yes. Who is she? Who knew we would have this much fun on a Wednesday morning? The fact that y'all haven't told me about these Juvia's Place eyeshadows, I really don't know how to feel about it. Y'all tell me about everything else and want to gatekeep this one. They're almost buttery, y'all. These are some good eyeshadows. YSL Lash Clash. So let's test out this NARS Laguna Bronzer and see what it's given. I wonder how red it is. Cause you know, you don't really wanna put red on your nose contour. This is kind of reddish. Let's compare it to the NARS Karimba Matte Blush. So, ooh, y'all, they might be too similar. Well, not really. They're, well, they're a little different. Laguna 6 here. Mm. Okay. It's pretty deep. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's like a contour, but it's not crazy. It's like more of a natural contour. Y'all, I like that. I'm not mad at that at all. We should have did it first before the blush, but y'all get the picture. Yeah, so number six works. If you're my skin tone and you want like a contour or a bronzer that's not too like deep or dark where it looks like a dramatic contour this is it it's not too red it's a little warm but it's not too too red it is warm though it's not too crazy warm let's try it on the nose I'm loving this new brush, by the way, you guys. This is the conceal the Sephora Pro Concealer Number 71 brush that I got from the sale. I knew it would be perfect for nose contour. A little too reddish for my taste. 
um, on nose contour, but I like it for bronzer for sure. I definitely like it better than the Karimba. So yeah, so let's go with my Nika K cream to powder foundation. This is my go-to for nose contour. So let's try the Hoss Labs Lippy. This is the crayon in the color Mahogany Matte. Feels like a super creamy lipstick. I like how you're able to get like a precise line with it. So let's go in with the Pillow Talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is my favorite lipstick color. Like just for an everyday lipstick color. Taking my Dior gloss. So this is the final look you guys. I had so much fun creating this look and trying these new products. I still have a few more products I need to try out. So probably within the next day or two, you guys will see another trying new makeup video. Every single thing that I used in this video today will be linked down below in the description box. Keep in mind they are affiliate links. So I wanna encourage you to purchase through those links. If you've tried any of these products before, comment down below and let me know what you think about them or how you use them. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.